What's going on YouTube is JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, I want to start this video by thanking each and every one of you for joining me today. For those of you that have subscribed, I'm honored that you've done so and I hope the rest of you will give me a chance by hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to mash that thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to be the first to know when new videos are launched, don't forget to click the little bell icon. Guys, today we're back again with another, what I think, pretty great Samsung product. Now, last year we had the Samsung DeX Station, and this year we have the Samsung DeX Pad. What's the difference? Well, so far, as I can see, there's not a lot of difference as far as really what's built in, except last year's model has the Ethernet cable port, and this year's model does not. Last year's model, you could not use your phone as a mouse. This year's model, you can. I went ahead and opened these boxes. I've tried to record it a few times, but they did not slide open as easy as I thought. So very quickly, let's just look at these before we go ahead and hook them up and see what they can do. So again, guys, last year's model, it's round. This year's model is flat. First thing that I noticed is that this year's model is very light. Um, I can actually see you being able to slide it in your back pocket. Um, as far as fans go, keep it you know well ventilated. This is very important because again, this is going to be kind of up in the ante a little bit and using your phone as a desktop. So on last year's model, you see the fan in the back here, but on this year's model, I noticed that you kind of find that it really fans out all on the bottom and then it actually sits right there on where you deck the phone down. In addition to that, the USB Type-C, again, on this year's pad is going to lay flat, so it's right there. Last year's model, it's inside. Um, again, these are both still available for use. Oh, hope that still works. No, it should. Okay, and then as far as USB ports go, you still got two USBs. Um, for some reason, they're still not USB 3.0. I wish they were, but whatever. Last year, Ethernet this year, you do not have that, so if you want a hard connection to your phone, you will not get that. And then you still got the 4K HDMI, and then the USB Type-C port as far as bringing the power into the pad. Again, both of these will charge your phone. As far as the content that comes in the box, that's virtually it last year's model. But this year, they give you, again, everything, so you get a nice... 4K Samsung HDMI cable, you get the adaptive fa uh, fast charging brick, and then you get the USB Type-C cable. So you actually get everything you need in this. And then guys, take into consideration that this year's model, the one thing I like about it, we're gonna check that out, is that you can use your phone as a mouse. Now, both of these models, you can put a you know USB mouse on there and a keyboard. However, if you're on the go and you don't want to carry around that stuff, you at least have the option to have the touchpad right there on your phone, and we'll check that out to see how it works. But now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the apps that's available for DeX. We're going to hook it up to the QLED, like I said. We'll go through it, and we'll see how to hook it up, and we will see if it's worth purchasing. Can't wait to check it out. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, so very quickly, first thing comes set up. As you can see here, these are a few things that you might want to get. This is nice because you can add multiple USB ports to it. So you can use one of your USB ports and then get three. You can get these on Amazon very cheap. Also, if you want an Ethernet connection, they actually sell a USB Ethernet connection also on Amazon. I think this is like $10. But basically, you pick your phone, S8, S8+, Plus, S9+, Plus, Note 8, whatever you want to do. Let's just take the Note 8 for now. And uh, real simple, guys. So we're going to use the Note 8. Actually, let's set that back down. And on the back here, if you want to go ahead and use USB, you're just going to plug it into the USB port. Go ahead, pick your keyboard, whatever you want. And then your HDMI port is going to be right here. So you're going to put your HDMI cable in. 
Once that's complete, you're then going to take your power cable. Real simple, put your power cable in. Now, you're going to take your phone, you find the USB slot on the bottom there, and it should plug right in to there. So basically, we got our HDMI cable, we have our power cable, which of course is going to have to be plugged into the wall, and now I'm going to go ahead and plug that in the TV, and we're going to check this out. All right, so now we're all hooked up. One thing to keep in mind, the DEX pad does not seem to work unless you use the quick charger. Also, make sure that this is pushed in all the way. As soon as that is done, it will say DEX loading, and this is now a mouse pad. Now, if I could show you real quick, I got this little mouse icon there. Let me show you here that I'm doing it all from my finger. Now, again, we can do a keyboard or we can use the mouse. For this video, we're going to go ahead and use a keyboard to make it a little bit easier. But just make sure that this is tight, you got it plugged in, and that you do know that everything still connects on the USBs on this port in order to use it. Let's hook up the keyboard and get going. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and I plugged in my USB. This has my keyboard and my mouse on one port, the blue light's on, and it's time to go All through right, everything. Guys, so we're in. We're hooked up with the Note 8 on the Samsung 2018 Q9 QLED TV. First thing that you want to do is you want to go into your settings menu. Settings, this should look just like the top of your pull down menu on your cell phone, except when you hit the little settings icon, you will find Samsung DeX settings. This is where you want to make any adjustments. 10 minutes um, screen timeout, we can adjust that looks down to 15 seconds. You get different wallpapers here. So you could looks like you could choose it for home and lock screen just like you can on your phone. So we'll go ahead and set that. Now here's the screen resolution. Now this is the thing that you know we're kind of looking for 4k now i just leave it on auto select um, right now we're getting wqhd and then you got your pointer speed just like you know your computer you can adjust this you can adjust your samsung keyboard because obviously you can type um, what else do we got here so show on screen keyboard index so when we turn this on and then set default audio output so this looks like you can go ahead to play sound through connected tv or monitor by default when um, deck starts actually this is something you really want to turn on especially if you're going to be watching movies because you want it to come out of the tv speakers or the surround sound um, receive marketing information that's up to you i'm going to say no I'm going to say on this one, this is up to you, but I'm going to attempt to resize apps that are not officially supported by DEX just to get the biggest picture out of it. And then if you need help on how to use or more about DEX, you have, you know, adjust the screen, adjust the audio, which we just did. Um, and then talking about the gaming experience, and then this will always tell you about the latest features. So it's pretty cool that it lets you you know at least customize what you're looking at and get a little bit better experience now the next question that i have and always do is what kind of software do you get now being a, this kind of device i think the most important thing you need is microsoft um, works so we got looks like microsoft word here um, we got skype we have like I clicked out of there but I think I saw Excel you get Gmail normal email there um, I got my Voodoo account on there um, there's word again we got YouTube what's awesome is is when you click on YouTube you get a great picture experience it fills up the screen um, it's fast you know if you enjoy YouTube like I do then this is an absolute must so I'm definitely excited about this and it looks great on the TV. And then talking about gaming, Samsung did include the game launcher. 
The game launcher is great if you're a gamer, especially if you don't want to be interrupted. You got your full gallery. And then you can, of course, surf the internet. Now, the internet on a bigger TV is always fun, especially, you know, if you're at a hotel and that's all you have. But, you know, it's just a really cool thing. And everything seems to respond really, really fast. As you can see, there just doesn't seem to be any lag to it whatsoever. The next thing is, is, you know, how many apps can we open? Will they all open? Will it start to slow down? So let's see, we got the internet open. Uh, we had YouTube open. And then what else can we do here? Just do a few just to see if it bogs it down. Um, let's do some speed test. Looks like we are good. Everything pops up and looks like we're getting some little bit of music out of that there. Now, I'm not quite sure why, but there's the close all and it was kind of playing in the background, but you saw how many things were running and then we close them all and everything's closed that simple. And that's really it guys. I mean, everything you need is here. Also, one other cool thing is if you hit this button, it does a screenshot and you can draw, you can crop just like you can on your phone. So pretty much everything you could do on your phone, you could do right here. You would save it and you would have your photo. Guys, looking at this, um, playing with it, getting the feel of it, seeing how fast and fluid it is, I think that for you know a hundred bucks this is definitely worth it i'm excited that samsung definitely included the accessories that i believe they should have gave us last year i like that it is a flat form factor it fits in your pocket it's really light and it just seems to be overall a great product is it for everybody no if you're a business person or you're in high school or a college student or you just want a bigger experience when you're at a hotel any of those you know of course it might help you out a little more if you're a techie person like me and you just like to have cool stuff with your phone it's definitely a must pick up but will it be something that you can't live without if you just use your cell phone normal on a day-to-day -day basis for photos and just you know browsing the internet no and take into consideration if you have a samsung phone and a Samsung TV, a lot of like screen mirroring options and so on and so forth work very well and very fluid without the dock. So there's that aspect of it, but then there's the aspect it works, it works very well. All right, guys, well, that sums up the Dex Pad and the Dex Station. Guys, I am so absolutely honored that you took your time to watch my video today. I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button mashing that thumbs up and clicking that bell. I am so humbled that you guys have supported my channel. And I just want to remind you guys, life is so short. Don't forget to take time, love your family, love your neighbors, take care of each other. Go out today, make someone's day by making them smile. It's the little things that can change the day and change people's lives. Guys, I do YouTube for you and you only. If you have any questions or comments, please reach me in the comment sections. I do my very best to answer each and every one of you. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at JB Tech Fanatic. But I just want to say thank you. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comment sections and see you in the next video. Until then, guys, I'm JB Tech Fanatic. You take care.